Have you ever wondered how to get this aesthetic for images that look like this? Well, today we'll be sharing the secret sauce and showcasing the filter that has become our most popular infrared filter, the Kalari IR Chrome filter. So let's take a look at it. IR Chrome mixes visible and infrared light to achieve the look of Kodak Aerochrome IR film straight out of camera, no editing required. The example photos in this video will only have basic adjustments, but it will be mostly straight out of camera. We offer the IR Chrome filter as a front end lens, drop in, and Kalari Atlas filter. The IR Chrome light is available as a front end, drop in, and clip in filter. So you'll need a full spectrum conversion to use the IR Chrome filters. We'll leave a link in the description below about infrared camera conversions. So we have a few disclaimers while using the filters. So while this filter is designed to replicate Kodak Aerochrome directly out of camera with a full spectrum camera, all camera models and sensors will have subtle variations and color and results will vary. Sony cameras in particular tend to create images where foliage appears more orange than red. This is easily correctable and a modest hue adjustment from orange to red in post-processing will create the advertised results. Now due to the exceptional thickness of the IR chrome glass, these filters may not be compatible with stacking additional filters or lens caps. If you wish to use the IR chrome lens filter in conjunction with other filters such as the UV polarizing filter or ND filter, we recommend putting the IR chrome lens filter at the front end of the filter stack. This isn't a problem for the Kalari Atlas or the drop-in filter form factor. So with all of that out of the way, let's go and shoot this IR chrome lens filter. Can you like hold it somewhere like here? I'll take it. There's a reason why this filter is our most popular filter. It's the filter to rule them all. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Okay, so I forgot to bring a white balance card with me, so we're just gonna see if this works. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty solid. That worked really well, actually. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Not too shabby. When in doubt, use Lucy as a white balance card. Hey, Lucy. Oh, there we go. Lucy, you're a star. You gotta call her name. Lucille. <laughs> Not like that. Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, that, that shouldn't have worked on it. <laughs> this entire video is just gonna be Lucy photos. Lucy. Lucy, please look over here. Please. Please. No. Lucy. Okay, this can't be the whole video. Come on, we gotta do stuff. <laughs> oh, dragonfly. This is literally coming out so lovely. Like with IR Chrome, the foliage just comes out so red, crimson, just these other words that describe the color red. It's really pretty. A few good shots with that. So let's do a quick switcheroo and put on the IR Chrome light filter which is this one that I'm holding on my left hand. So with the IR Chrome light filter, there are a few differences as opposed to the IR Chrome regular filter. So with the IR Chrome light, we are able to make it as a thinner filter and it allows us to make different form factors for it. But there are a few downsides, namely one of them is vignetting in the form of purple fringing, but the IR Chrome itself does not have this issue at all. With that said, you won't see this uh, effect, especially if you punch in a little bit. So we're good to go. Gotta reset my white balance. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> this is pretty. A little overexposed, let's get that again. Oh, nice. The shade of red is immaculate. Let's try this. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I like that. I do like those lily pads. I'm gonna go into the water and take some photos of that. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice.
my shop up. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. That was our Kalari Iochrome lens filter shot with the lovely aesthetic here in Vernon, New Jersey. So if you're interested in purchasing or reading more about the Iochrome filter, we'll leave a link in the description below. And with that said, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching. videos.